Ooh, my dogs are playing tug of war outside with some weird stick thing. Uh. Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a first impressions. Uh, lots of new goodies that I got from the VIP sale, um, as well as, you know, a couple other things. I even got some brushes to try off Amazon, which in the outro, I forgot to say how I feel about them. <sighs> Spoiler alert, I don't like them. <laughs> but anyways, starting off this video, great. If you wanna see me test out a bunch of goodies, some of them that are new to the market, some of them that are just new to me, <laughs> then just keep watching. Gross, like what, I, I don't know what's going on with my skin. It's not happy with me for some reason. Good thing I picked a not full coverage foundation to try today. Let's go ahead and start with some primer. So I have two uh, primers to test out today. Uh, the first being the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer and the other the Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer with vitamins B, C, and E. I kind of want to try both. <laughs> um, but, you know, let's just try both. Why not? I want to know how they like feel on the skin. All right, so this is Kind of what it looks like. I don't know, it doesn't really feel like, like, what's the name? Quench? I was expecting to feel like instant, like, intense hydration, but it kind of feels the same as like the base tape, where it's like hydrating, but a little sticky at the same time. Huh, you were not what I was expecting. All right, well now I'm gonna take the photo finish one. It says to apply one to two pumps, with or without makeup. So. This one feels really nice. Ooh, yeah, this one feels... Ooh, it smells very citrusy. I like that. This one feels a lot more luxurious on the skin. I'm gonna move on to foundation. So this is more of like a skin tint, <laughs> hence the name. This is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. I know this one isn't new, but it's new to me. And I wanted to test it out for summer. Because, you know, sometimes in summer, you want more of like a fresh, effortless, glowy look. This is very weird. All right, come on. Okay, here we go. That is very interesting. This feels really nice on the skin, like the little roller ball. Wowie wow. I like this applicator a lot more than I thought I was going to. I'm putting a lot on because I just, I don't know. Honestly, it's not really applying that much more. It's kind of just like spreading it around. I think I did a pretty good shade match for online shade matching. It looks a little warm for me. I'm not too worried about like per perfect, perfect shade match though, because it's a skin tint. Like it's not a full coverage, obviously. Yeah, it's definitely like a little dark for me, but you know, summer, hopefully I'll be tanner. I'm not really a fan of this brush. So I'm going to, it's wonderful, it's a little dirty, but we'll find a clean spot. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. Go down the neck a little bit, so that feels nice. I just wanted to see how this builds. I do know it's a skin tint, so I'm not expecting to get it to full coverage, but I still need to see how, you know, how far can you go? It feels a little sticky on the skin. Okay, so far, you know, I don't look all that different. Just a little more even now. I still have some redness and, you know, dark circles and blemishes and all that jazz. But we're gonna move on to concealer. This is the Kosas, um, it doesn't say the name of it, but it's their new like brightening concealer. I should have kept the box. This is in the shade uh, 03. Just gonna take that under the eyes. Feels really nice under the eyes. Just trying to cover up Blemishes. I'm really not adding any more product. I'm just kind of spreading it out. I'm just gonna take the Blendiful because there's not really a brush to use. So far, I really like it. I feel like it did a good job concealing everything. And it's not too heavy or anything like that. I'm gonna quickly set my under eyes. I don't have a new under eye setting powder, so I'm just gonna do that off camera real quick. All right, moving on to the next product. This is the Tarte C Set and Protect 
mineral powder sunscreen uh, SPF 30. So on the website, it says that you can use this to set your makeup and protect against the sun as an SPF. So I figured sounds perfect for summer. It's got a similar applicator to the uh, milk makeup one. By the way, this also has SPF 30, aka perfect for summer. I'm like a little nervous, like how is this gonna go? It's just gonna like spit out everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it is gonna spit out everywhere. Honestly, I'm just going to town because this is fun. <laughs> it feels good on my face. <laughs> It smells interesting too. I can't put my finger on what it is. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I mean, seems to have set my face pretty nicely. Let's move on to bronzer. So I have a couple options for bronzer. I have this uh, NARS. This is the Exposed Cheek Palette. I guess these two are supposed to be like deeper blushes or you can use them as bronzer contours. Um, and then I also have the new Kosas. This is the baked bronzer that they just came out with. Um, the shade is a lot darker than it looked online because the light one looked like way light. So I was like, okay, I'll go with medium. It looks like it'll be good for like, you know, all year, really good for summer because it's supposed to be kind of glowy. You can see the shift. I mean, it looks beautiful. It just might be a little dark until I get some tan. But we're in quarantine. I also have the Morphe Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer in shade Mega Star. Um, this is a matte bronzer, so I think I'm just gonna, you know, um, use everything. But <laughs> I'm gonna start with this Morphe one since it's matte, and then maybe add a little bit of the Kosas one on top since it looks a little dark for me. a little weird. Can you see that? Like, I don't know, maybe I didn't set somewhere on this side. That's why it's patchy. Let's go over top of that with a little bit of this Kosas guy. Light-handed. Because... It's been a while since I've actually put makeup on, so maybe this wasn't the best video to do today. Maybe I should have practiced a little bit first. Uh, I'm just adding some of the Kosas bronzer very lightly on my forehead. Why are things being patchy on me today? Like, it's patchy. I really, like, I don't run into this issue often. I think I didn't, like, properly set. I don't think I set my face everywhere. Like, I think I just got some places didn't get others in all honesty my face has been struggling lately so this may not be the best first impressions but i thought it would be fun to play with some new makeup for blush i'm taking this nars exposed cheek palette and i really want to go in with this super fun bright shade this is the shade hell all yeah no this is the shade make you mine i don't know the way the names are on the back is a little confusing but it's the really peachy one <laughs> Okay, this brush is like not picking anything up. I don't like this brush, but I like the color of the blush. Uh, I need a highlight brush. Um, I'm gonna, just gonna go in with the highlight shade in this palette. Nice and soft, but still like it's like a good mix between subtle and both. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows real quick off camera because I don't have a new brow product to try. Um, but then we'll come back and do the eyes. All right, we're back and ready for some eyeshadow. I did not think this through because the face is very like um not super full coverage, and not super snatched and glam, and then the eyeshadow palette is this the jeffree star blood lust palette look at this oh my goodness is is this just not like the most luxurious thing you've ever like seen in your life like this is an eyeshadow palette this is amazing i love this packaging i'm a sucker for good packaging um so we're just gonna do a cool purpley look and who cares that we don't have a lot of face makeup on i'm not going anywhere so 
All right, I'm just gonna dive into Your Majesty and just dust that all over the lid to make sure everything is nice and set. This is kind of like a, it's like a bone color, but with like a hint of like gray. It's like a very, very pale gray, I guess. I don't remember how Jeffrey described it in his video. Okay, let's go in with Deviant and put that all over the crease. This is also my first time using Jeffree Star eyeshadows or anything Jeffree Star. So this is like a big first impressions. So far I like this shade. It's very light so you can really not see it on camera. I hate these brushes though. I feel my nose contour is looking awful. I'm just struggling today so. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Royal Pain and put that a little more on the outer corner and into the crease. This brush is not as fluffy as I thought it was. I'm gonna clean my brows. Quarantine has just been getting to me. Anyone else? Like I have been in such a funk the last week, hence no videos or Instagram posts. I just like have had no motivation i just wanted to like lay in bed all day i mean i still have to work so there's that but i just like i don't know my skin has been irritated i don't know what's wrong with it i think it's stress and just like a lot of stress and frustration and anxiety like all combined together i can't imagine like props to people who have like small children that are in quarantine because that's all I have to say. <laughs> I really love this color. Beautiful. I'm gonna go back in with the first shade Deviant. Just because we lost some of that purple. Normally when testing out an eyeshadow palette, I want to do something like super crazy. Because I feel like the more you can test in one go, the better idea you have of the palette. But honestly, I don't want to look too crazy with it. I have not a lot of face coverage. Oh, now your majesty's looking like a little minty green. Hmm. Very unique shape. So what I'm gonna do is just take uh, take the crown right here on my finger, put the all over the lid. That's very pretty. Wow. I don't like that I'm messing up the the stamps. The stamps are so pretty. I'm literally putting this all over the lid. I'm just going in with no additional product to blend that out. It's so pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that Royal Paint shade on the outer corner into the crease. And then I'm gonna take it on the lower lash. I do want a little something in, okay. I do want a little something in my inner corner, so I'm gonna take the shade Wet Jewel. I believe this is the new formula he was talking about. Ooh, wow. I'm just gonna pop that right on the inner corner and bring it a little bit in the lid. Just a smidge. And even take it a little bit on the lower lash. And no problem, cause why not? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put a little bit of mascara on. I don't have a new mascara to try. And then move on to lips and we'll wrap it up. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub. This is the one in pineapple juice. I've never um, tried his lip scrubs. It really smells pineapple. -y. taste it. Not bad. My lips definitely feel nice and soft now. All right, last but certainly not least, the lip product. I have two lip products to choose from today. Um, they're both from Jeffree Star from his Velour Liquid Lipstick line. This one is in the shade Thirst Trap. It's a very, very metallic for sure. It's like a metallic pinky nude. Wow, very pretty. I feel like that might be a little more glam than what this look is, but it is what it is. And this one is in the shade Fully Nude. Very pretty, like, peachy color. Um, I'm gonna go with Fully Nude. <laughs> love that color. I don't know how well it goes with this look. I feel like I look a little crazy today. All right, well, 
this video didn't exactly go how I thought it would, to be honest, but let's round up our thoughts. Um, this is first impression, so my opinions could change. Keep that in mind. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I'm sure you'll see the products that I'm loving in a favorites video or a collapse video if they don't work out for me. As far as the primers go, I definitely really like the way this one feels. Um, I don't really know how much of a difference it made in the makeup application, but I definitely am going to keep using this to see how it works with maybe more full coverage foundations, things like that. This little guy kind of disappointed me. I was expecting it to be a little bit more hydrating, but I'm still going to test it out and obviously use it up. It's a small bottle. Uh, the Milk Sunshine Skin Tint, I really like the way this feels on the skin. Um, I definitely need to test it out a little bit more, figure out what the best way to apply it is going to be because the brush I used was crap, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but so far I like this. I think it's going to be great for summer. Can you hear my dogs wrestling in the background? Yeah, I'm sure you can. The Tarte C Set and Protect. I really like this. Uh, I think I need to figure out how to make sure I've set my whole face so things don't get like patchy when I app applicating when applying but i really like it and i like that it's spf so i think it'll be nice and easy for travel in like summertime um you know once we can travel again <laughs> uh the concealer um definitely gonna have to keep using this because i can't say anything about the brightening effects of like you know underneath the concealer <laughs> how it's affecting the skin but i like the way it feels when you apply it it feels really nice and hydrating and it definitely blends it out really nicely the bronzers i'm definitely gonna have to give them a, a better shots because i feel like i didn't set my face super great but i like the colors of the two of them this one's definitely a bit dark for me right now but uh, you know we can hope i get tanner right <laughs> but i love the luminosity of this one like you can even see it in the pan like that is going to be perfect for summer yeah the shade is obviously too dark for me i should have got the light one but sometimes i want to be tanner than i am the nars palette i really liked the blush and the Okay, <laughs> I really liked the blush. I used these two over here. I definitely want to keep testing out like these shades and these two, maybe try and see how these do bronzing and contouring, you know? But we shall see. I'm gonna keep playing with them. But so far, I really like this palette. I think it's gonna be great for, you know, travel, summertime, very nice, sturdy packaging. The eyeshadow palette, I, I can already tell I'm gonna love this. I mean, the shades are so beautiful and they, I only used a couple shades, but I liked the way they blended, I liked the way they applied, they're very pigmented, and I can't wait to create even more, you know, glamorous, intense looks, like I really want to play with that red, that purple looks gorgeous, this is calling my name, all of the above. <laughs> um, I really like the lip scrub, I think, you know, um, definitely made my lips feel a lot more soft and not so dry and crusty. And as far as the lips go, like, feels very comfortable on the lips. It's had some time to dry down and I really like the color. So I'm excited to play with this other color with maybe some more glamorous looks. <laughs> Anyways, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. It was a little bit of a shambly first impressions, but I feel like first impressions are always shambly. It's kind of inevitable, but <laughs> Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at jsanchezbeauty where I post little makeup looks and tutorials every now and then, as well as stories of my dogs who are still wrestling upstairs and they sound like they're trying to kill each other, so I'm gonna need to go check on them. But thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.